Sherry Beth, good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep last night? Good. Got some sleep. We slept in, yeah. but now we're gonna get our day going here in Boise, our last day in Boise. Yeah. Sad. Let's go find some potatoes. <laughs> All right, Sherry just pointed out, we're not looking for potatoes. What are we looking for? Coffee. Okay, stop number one, coffee, then stop number two, potatoes. Sure. Maybe. Our first stop is a place called Alchemist Coffee Roasting Company, because Sherry Beth needs her coffee. So uh, let's head in, see how it is. Just ordered our coffees here, and I gotta say, I don't know what it is about Boise, but you guys remember the place we went yesterday? Their pastries and stuff looked amazing. You guys, a chocolate chai cake? They have gluten-free fudgy brownie, carrot cakes, a lemon bar. Yo, Idaho coming in strong. A white chocolate raspberry scone shirt you saw. Idaho coming in strong on the baked goods. They sell a bunch of their different coffees here and sure and I were talking about how great we love the packaging with just like the gold metallic, silver. the gold, silver. It's kind of got that rose gold copper. Well, we already ordered our coffee, but I'm gonna do another sale and buy some beans. Drinks are up. Got our coffee. Also got a bag to leave as a thank you for the Zachmans. Um, Sherry's very excited because they have samples of their lemon bars here. What? It is very rare that people spell my name right. She didn't, but it was close. It's usually an R-R-Y or an R-I-E or I don't know, whatever they try to do. This one's close. Next stop, Cracker Barrel. But we are not having lunch here, are we, Sherry? Nope. Uh, the reason we're here is that we came here a couple days ago, and while we were here, Tucker, the Zachman's youngest son, saw a toy that he really, really wanted, and, well, we're gonna buy it from before we leave, because <laughs> we love buying gifts for friends. We got coffee for the Zachman's. Now, we need to get the dinosaur for Tucker, then we'll find something for Landon, and we will be Good to go as far as gifts. Here we are in downtown Boise. Sherry, yeah. have you spent much time down here on our trips? Nope. Very little. Very little. It is a beautiful, beautiful downtown. Uh, this is kind of one of the really nice downtown parks. Where we're going is up here because I want to show you the Idaho State Capitol building. It's another beautiful day. The sun is shining, it's nice and warm. So we're kind of just soaking this up because going back to Alaska, it will be September which is kind of the month that fall really sets in. Leaves will start to change. It's all of fall. It's all of, yes, <laughs> September is fall. Um, and yeah. then next month, October, is when we will probably get our first snow, yeah. maybe. So for us, this is sort of our last drink of summer. Yeah. And right here at the end of the park, the Idaho State Capitol. It is a beautiful, beautiful state capitol building. And right here at the base of the capitol in front, they have a reproduction of the Liberty Bell. I think that's super cool. The dimensions and tone are identical with those of the original Liberty Bell when it rang out our independence. This will come as no surprise to anyone, yeah. but Sherry, <laughs> <laughs> we're right here at this really pretty little garden area out front of the capitol, and <laughs> Sherry's going around and getting all the photos because they do have beautiful flowers. They are pretty flowers. You glad we made the stop? Yes. Me too. You guys, there's puppos over here. We just got to pet and get attacked and get licks by those two little wiener dogs over there. They were seven months old and nine months old. They're so cute and so sweet. <laughs> they were very aggressive with their love. We're gonna grab lunch next because we are hungry. So we are going to the Boise Fry Company. I told you guys we would find potatoes. You can see Boise Fries right next to Waffle Me Up, and the Capitol is just right there. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. All right, you guys, Boise Fry Company, you get to choose what kind of french fries you want for your potatoes. Oh my gosh, Sherry and I both went with purple. Their menu here is spectacular. They have burgers, they've got a couple salads. I am so excited for this. Look at that order of french fries. You can see it actually shares space with Waffle Me Up. They have a pretty cool vibe in here. There is one thing over here I want to show you though. Look at all of the different ketchups they have. They have regular ketchup, spicy ketchup, fry sauce, spicy fry sauce, garlic aioli, sweet mustard, barbecue, chipotle, blueberry ketchup, and then up here they have all of the salts you can add to your fries. So the garlic and rosemary looks amazing. They have just jalapeno, black pepper, Cajun, sriracha. What? This place is amazing. They have staff and customer picks here. And then over here, this is fun. 
It's uh, Fry Friends from around the world. Grab a pin from our register and let us know where you're from. Look at all of those people also from Anchorage. Okay, we just got our food. You guys, look at my burger. What? Look at the fries. There is Sherry Beth's. But now the decision. What sauces do we get? What salts do we put on there? I'm definitely going garlic rosemary. And Sherry and I both went with the purple potato at the recommendation of the guy up front. And then I'm also gonna do a couple shakes of the Cajun. All right, Sherry, what dipping sauce are you getting? You went garlic aioli? Yeah. Smart. Ooh, garlic aioli and sweet mustard, huh? Yeah. For dipping sauce, I went with the blueberry ketchup. You can see Sherry's already dipping your finger in it. I also got barbecue sauce and I got fry sauce because when in Idaho, gotta get the fry sauce. <laughs> Sherry Beth, what kind of salt did you put on yours? I put a little bit of the garlic and rosemary and a little bit of smoked salt. Nice. I'm so excited for lunch. All right, Sherry Beth, I need you a wrap up of Boise Fry Company. It was so good. Yeah? Yes. That was a place that was not on our list. We just kind of stumbled upon it downtown. We were looking for lunch places. Oh man. Highly recommend. It was so delicious. Yes. Burgers were great, fries were great. Yes. Can't imagine how it could have been better. No. Next, we are going to a place, or we're looking for a place called, I think it's called Idaho Made, because we need to get a couple Idaho gifty type things. Here is where we're looking for. Idaho Made, local artisan goods, I read on their website they have over 60 local makers who have space in here. I'm so excited. Masks recommended, so we're putting our masks on. Going to sanitize hands as well. All right, just walked in and I'm already so excited because I see like all of these cards and then I see Ida Homegirl. Okay, I'm so glad we came here. Look at these little coffee mugs. Look at the little pig. Oh my gosh, look at these. <sighs> these are the best of dog. Oh my goodness. We found these. And these are perfect. Look at them. Sherry Beth, what do you think? I like this one. And then we can write on the back like Idaho 2021. There we go, you guys. We found our ornament. And Sherry found stickers. stickers. <laughs> oh, carrying is cool. <laughs> Mash the potato. <laughs> okay, that's no, really hilarious. Good. I love these. Ooh, and even more stickers. This store is fun. And look, even more stickers. I love the Idaho ones. Those are so cool. Idaho girl, this girl can. I love ID. Do epic. Shh. You get the point there. Carpe the hell out of that DM. <laughs> okay. This is so cool. So the shop includes, as I mentioned before we came in, just lots of different local makers, artists, craftspeople. And this is so fun because these little wands here are made by Lucy and Lily. They're seven and eight years old. They live in Boise, Idaho. They make their wands and they sell them here. That's the kind of stuff I love to support. And right below Lucy and Lily's wands, we have seven-year-old Ellie who is in love with making messes, but Ellie's designs Look, are made so on cute. stickers and cards and stuff. I found the hats, which you guys know I love. The Idaho beers kind of looks like the Chicago Bears. The Boise hat. These are very, very cool. Well, that was a successful stop for sure. The Idaho Maid Store in downtown. Um, if you're looking for kind of unique, local, fun things, Way to support local artists, definitely recommend this is the place to stop. We got a whole bag full of goodies. Now, I think we're probably going to, well, I don't know what we're gonna do. Well, the next place we found will come as no surprise to anybody who knows Sherry. We actually saw this when we were downtown a couple nights ago, but we didn't have time to stop. Rediscovered Books is where we're going now. Here we go. This is a great bookstore. It looks super fun. They have lots of lots of books all around, but they have more than books. They just have lots of little games and tchotchkes, a ton of stuff to look at in here. They even have a light up unicorn nightlight. They also have lots of different stickers, which are cool. I really like the Book Scout. I like the Idaho sticker. Keep Boise kind. What a great selection they have here. Looks like Sherry found a book. What'd you, what'd you find? 
I don't know. Actually, it's been on my list for a while. Okay. Five fifty. Yeah. Can't put a price on that. Sure, just pointed this book out to me. The Snuggle is real. It's a collection of puns. <laughs> I feel like I need that book. Just left Rediscovered Books, and this is fun. See it outside on the sidewalk. They're about to celebrate their 15th birthday on 9-11. Trey Beth, what do you think of the store? I liked it, it was a really good store. It reminded me of a small version of Tidal Wave back home. Yep. Like, just kind of a similar feel and vibe. For sure. We are back at the Zachman's house. Uh, got here just a couple minutes ago, and we are starting to pack to get ready for our flight tonight. You can see I have my stuff all just like <laughs> spread out everywhere. Sherry is already packed, but I wanted to show you guys something because when I first got here, I drove through Pendleton, Oregon, where I was going over to Hermiston for my work trip, and I stopped by Pendleton, the like famous blanket company. They're, you know, amazing, iconic American brand. And I've always wanted a Pendleton blanket, and I bought this one. But I bought this one from their, like they have a section in the back of the store that is kind of like marked down blankets because there's something wrong with them. So this was $68.99 and actually it was discounted on top of that. The blankets that didn't have anything wrong that were this size were like $140, which is amazing. And MF, what it means. So each of the blankets they have on sale in the back room has like a marking. And then they have a sign that tells you what the marking means. MF means missing fringe. So let me show you if I can find it why this blanket was so cheap. MF missing fringe. Um, I think it's because there's like one section on the blanket. If I can find it. Oh, right here. See, look, literally right there. See that section that is missing a couple of these that saved me like 70 or $80. What? I'll buy that any day. So an amazing Pendleton blanket for a fraction of the price. So glad I got this. I think it'll look great in our living room. But now I gotta get all of this stuff in there and hopefully get that to close. Well, you can see all of our bags are packed. We got everything in our two suitcases. We got our room picked up. This was such a nice place to stay. We're so thankful for Justin and Lacey for letting us stay here in their studio. However, they have this board over here that says vlog ideas. Um, I have some vlog ideas I wanna write on their board before I leave. So this is what they had on there. I went ahead and added 10 things we love about Adam, five things we love about Sherry, three reasons we don't like Missy, and the announcement video for their second Alaska vacation. I feel like those, some pretty good vlog ideas. Look, Boston's coming up here to say hi, and apparently bye, okay, I guess we'll see you later, Boston. All right, so I think that the Cracker Barrel toys were a huge hit. But I think my favorite part is how Tucker figured out how to open the eggs. I'll give you a demonstration here in a second. Tucker, can you show how you crack the eggs? Perfect. <laughs> Want to see it? Yeah. Come on then. Okay. Oh, look at that fizz. It's getting messy. Yeah. It's <laughs> hot. Oh, look it. Whoa. It's a bone. It, no, a bone. that's a real bone. That's real? Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Is the Triceratops coming together? Whoa, look at that. All right, here we go. Time has come. Sherry's got her suitcase. I've got my suitcase. We're gonna walk over here, put them in our car. And then Sherry, mm -hmm. we're having one final dinner with the Zachmans with Cassidy. Where are we going? Chick-fil-A. Sherry is so excited. Our last dinner in Boise as at Chick-fil-A. Let's get our luggage in the car. This may be Sherry's favorite thing ever we enter into the GPS. We've arrived at Chick-fil-A, and not just any Chick-fil-A, because this is actually the Chick-fil-A that I very first met Justin and Lacey Zachman at in person. Uh, I was coming through Boise on my road trip, and I met up with them. See, look, there's Justin right there. There's Sherry, there's Lacey. Uh, met up with them, we had breakfast together here at Chick-fil-A for like a few hours, and now we're back at the same Chick-fil-A. Let's go in. This is the best last meal we could possibly uh -huh. have. Gosh, Sherry, you get the original with cheese, which is the wrong way to eat it, because I got the original with no cheese, which is the right way to eat it. Well, that was lame. Actually, it was a ton of fun. Well, it was lame, I had to just say goodbye. But we had to say goodbye. The goodbyes have been said. Say goodbye to Cassidy. Say goodbye to the boys. Say goodbye to Justin and Lacey. Now it is time to head back home to Anchorage. We are flying Boise to Seattle, Seattle to Anchorage. We'll get home about two, 
Well, we'll probably get home closer to 3 a.m. Yay. That's rough. <laughs> Sherry Beth, uh, let's talk <clears throat> about the trip. Yep. How it's gone. Yep. Um, how'd it go for you? It was so much fun. Yeah? Yep. I'm so glad that we came down here. We got to see everybody. It's It's been great. When I think about this trip, the word that I, I was telling Sherry this yesterday, I think it was, the word I think of is just like blessing mm -hmm. for a lot of reasons. Um, the client that I came down here to do work for is a client that I really love and I love doing work for, yeah. but it's also a client that during COVID uh, went away for a little while just because of what happened in the world. Yep. And so the fact that I get to come back down here with a client that I love doing work that I love is just like a huge blessing. The fact that we got to be here with Auburn and with the Zachmans, with Cassidy, uh, was just- to meet Christine. You got to meet Christine, Chantel. I did not. Yep, got to meet Chantel, got to see my family. It was just, I don't know, just a reminder of the blessing we have in our life when it comes to people. We've said this a lot. Yeah. The, the thing we are richest in life is relationships, mm -hmm. and this trip was proof of that. Uh, and then the other blessing for me is just, so this is Sherry's first trip out of state since... Everything. Since everything. <laughs> the last time we traveled out of state was when she got sick. Mm -hmm. And so there's the blessing of the fact that we traveled out of state and she's okay. Yeah. So to me, there were a lot of things. This wasn't a long trip. Um, this wasn't, you know, a kind of a typical vacation sort of trip for me. It was a hybrid of work and vacation, mm -hmm. uh, but it was full of things that were just reminders that we are ridiculously blessed. Yep. And we have people and things in our life that are just really, really good and make us really happy. So yeah. I'm so glad we came down here. Um, it was a quick trip. You got down here on Saturday. Yep. And so now we are flying it's home. Right now. We said our goodbyes to Auburn, which is sad. Yeah. Going back home, and uh, she will not be there. We will have to figure out how to console Missy. Yeah, I think she's going to be not very happy that we did not bring Auburn back with us. When we walk through the doors and Auburn's not with us, Missy <laughs> is going to turn into pissy. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? Let's be honest. She's going to be so mad that we're yeah. there and she's not. You came back. Missy's like, of all of the people I wanted to walk through the door, you two are yeah, not it. Not it. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Try this try this again. You guys leave again. Bring her back. <laughs> Why? Or just send her back. Yeah. Send her back. You stay away. <laughs> send her. Right. So I have to console Missy. Um, <laughs> Um, but we'll talk more in future videos about Auburn summer with us. It was just so, so good. Yep. Um, yeah, we're just really thankful. This whole trip, blessing. Yeah. Just feel very blessed. But now, we have to get to the airport. Yeah. So, let's go. Boise Airport. Here we go. Just returned the rental car. Bye car, you were wonderful. It is a pretty quiet night here at the Boise Airport, as you can see. We're gonna go drop our car rental key off at the counter and head upstairs to get checked in for our flight. So I knew the housing market was hot in Boise, but this is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. A real estate booth here in the airport. You guys, this area is growing so much. We were walking by here and I just saw a uh, little cheese and fruit tray there. Cherry Beth? Sure, you want that? You wanted some yeah. snacks real quick? Sure. Uh, I don't think we're gonna eat that. <laughs> Instead of getting food poisoning and possibly dying, let's go up the escalator and start our journey home. All right, we're all checked in for our flight. Also, literally not another person in the entire <laughs> terminal. But look at what Sherry just pointed out. <laughs> Sherry, what do these remind you of? Church pews. <laughs> they do look like church pews. It's so funny. Friends, that is where we're going to end the vlog, actually. Uh, we're going to take the trip home and just enjoy the flights, enjoy each other, uh, and not vlog. So we're going to end this Boise travel video here. Thanks for following along. We love you guys. Zachmans, we love you guys. Cassidy, we love you. Auburn, we love you. You guys are all family to us and I'm so thankful we got to spend time with you. We're so thankful for all the things we have in life. Thanks you guys for watching and following along. We got to go home. Bye friends.